Let's see. Am I actually recording? I am actually recording, but I'm not actually capturing the game. What? Come on. Guess not. Display capture. Work with me on this game. There we go. Okay, now we're actually recording this game. Window mode. No, turn the sound, sound effects down a little bit. As the volume. Yeah, a little loud. So let's let's crank this down. All right, there we go. Profile one. Uh, map upgrades info. This is pretty arcadey. Let's get going. Gonna do easy Southern plane start. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Well, that was a tutorial. See the deposit. Put the factory there. Putting factory there. All right. So hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Ancient Planet. It's a tower defense game. Uh, let's see. Tower that slows down enemies. Uh, yeah. Just gonna do that and press to start the invasion. It was two bucks, and I haven't played a tower defense game in a while, so I was just like, why not? Let's... Let's... I don't know, check these things out, and see if it's any good. And the answer is, who knows? I like the art style. It reminds me of, I mean, honestly, like, StarCraft and stuff. Oh. So it might have, uh... Grab those. It might actually have some, uh, Plants vs. Zombies design... Uh, elements. It does feel like a mobile game, though. I will grant that. But then again, so did Plants vs. Zombies. You know, that would be a game that would be kind of fun to play someday. Just load up and mess around with. Oh, hey. These golden coins gets me factories. Okay, so we are now mining. Wow, this is very Plants vs. Zombies. Oh, can I upgrade things? I can! Okay. That's cool. Collect the money. Okay, so last wave. Turn that speed up, because... I don't have any other factories to plunk this down on. Oh, can I upgrade you? I can upgrade you. Looks like there's no, like, penal... Uh, there's no time penalty. Holy crap. They just go, eh, eh and then die. I guess it's one way- nope, we're not done yet. Go faster! Let's see, You've never played Plants vs. Zombies. What's the design elements on display here? It's mainly the fact that you have to like manually collect, uh... Collect the resources you go by. Who are we? I'm aliens. What do we want to invade this planet? When do we want it? Now! Well, can't fault them for being simplistic. Okay, so we've got different upgrades for every tower. Energy tower, cryogenic tower. We also have gate upgrades, machine gun upgrades, energy dome upgrades. What's this? So it looks like energy dome is one of my last uh, means of defense. Extra durability. We can also maybe get some weapons? Huh. Well, I don't mind systems like this, even if it's kind of basic. Uh, let's see, I've got 29 gems, so I can kind of do stuff, but I think I gotta get this first before I unlock the other ones, yeah. Okay. So if we go back to the map, I don't know if we can repeat missions to get extra resources, but that's fine. Uh, let's see, is this still ridiculously loud? It is. Let's just keep turning it down. This is after I've turned it down outside of Steam. But that's okay. Alright, that's better. Start. Well, and there goes the plot. There was something, but... I don't know. It's gone now. I'm just gonna plunk that there. Go. I guess we can get one cryo tower. Double go. Yeah, never heard of this. Looks neat. Yeah, it was released February 2015, and it was two bucks on Steam, so I figured I'd give it a go. At some point, I should load up Defense Grid The Awakening and actually play through that that game. Uh-oh. Uh, no, it looks like we'll be fine. Because, yeah, Defense Grid was my jam uh, for at least, like, a week or two <laughs> as I, like, just binged through it when I was younger. I think I was... Was I still in college? I actually... Straight up don't remember when, when I played Defense Grid. I had fun with it. Uh, let's see. I used to play a whole... What? No. Oh, I see. Effective against the Illudrian ar Army. These guys. Well, 
Slopping it, uh, slopping it down, slapping it down. We. But yeah, I used to play a boatload of tower defense games in StarCraft and Warcraft. Cube defense, element TD, uh... What other one? There were tons. I can I can only vaguely remember the names. At some point, it would actually be kind of fun to... Whoops, that's not the tower I meant to upgrade, but that's... A, oh! Oh, it's three coins to actually upgrade one of the, the mining things. Good to know. Sanctum 2 is the one you really like. I would love to sit down and play through the Sanctum games. Uh, Legion TD, yeah. He wants me to get more of these. I mean, I can. What I want to do is upgrade them, generally, though. Uh, I think I think I played Legion TD in StarCraft 2, back when Catterday was still going on. And I really enjoyed that. I... I don't know. I do kind of miss having the, uh, the ability to have, like, a, just a group of people who play Warcraft custom games, and maybe someday I'll just, like, load it up with fans and just be like, let's just play dumb tower defense games for a while. And yeah, the old days of playing tower defenses on, uh, Warcraft 3, yeah! I'm actually really looking forward to, uh, Warcraft Remastered, because that'll give us, us, me, an excuse to play more. Because I believe all the custom maps can be imported over, and I'm really excited for that. Yeah, Sanctum was made by the guys who made Satisfactory. Yeah. At some point, I'll try and convince uh, Shell to sit down and play through Sanctum with me. As like a... as a duo thing I'm gonna do. It's pricey to upgrade these guys. Let's see, do we want to get a, another slowing tower? We probably should. Yeah, Sanctum does have a solo difficulty wall. Yeah, I, uh, I think I beat Sanctum 1 solo. But it took some doing. And would have been much, much easier had I had helpers. And then I've never played Sanctum 2. It's one of those games I'll play someday. Honestly, let's just load up on stupid amounts of these machine guns. They're easy. Uh, let's see. It didn't, uh... Didn't Coffee Stain also make Goat Simulator? But yeah, they did, actually. They, it was just like a complete random for them. They're like, I don't know, let's just make a dumb game as a game jam. And then YouTubers as a whole were just like, holy shit, this is amazing! And went like, Benabras for it. And it made it it made them a stupid amount of money. I don't think Coffee Stain was like financially in trouble, but it was one of those where they suddenly went from being the people that made Sanctum to the the people that had a lot of money to throw around. And now they're now they're publishing well, they they made uh oh, this planet was given to by people of the Galaxy Col Colonization Council. Can you comment on your invasion? Ay 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 Right. Uh, let's see. So do we want to keep working on this? Armor producing bullets do extra damage. Building costs decreased by an amount. Double damage. Missile launcher. Extra range by 10% might not be a bad idea. Let's grab Ice Burst, though. Honestly, the Ice Towers seem more useful than anything else. I'll we'll just kind of grab whatever. Map. Continue. Ay 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 ay. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, concrete block will make it hard for the enemy to get by. Ah. Huh. Uh. Okay. Let's see, can you access the other tabs on the upgrade screen? I can access some of them. Many of them aren't amazingly helpful for what I'm trying to do, though. There might have been a better way to jam all that stuff in, but that's okay. Okay, so it looks like increasing the, the range on the... 
Ice Blaster was a good idea. Just gonna grab those. Uh huh, a tower defense. I, I am such a tower defense nerd. And I don't actually get the opportunity to play too many of them, which is kind of unfortunate, because I, if given the opportunity, I would actually play a lot more tower defense games. It's just most of them are really boring, or like don't have any, um, most of them are really boring or don't have anything like interesting to work with. The last one that I, I really enjoyed was Xmorph Defense. That was a really fun game. And I would gladly play more of that. They actually, uh, the Xmorph people, I believe, are making a new game that looked really cool. Oh, right. I gotta not forget that I can plunk those down and upgrade these. But yeah, the Xmorph people are working on... I don't know if it's isometric or a third-person thing, but it's it's still base defense, but like with mild survival mechanics as well. It just... I don't know how to describe it apart from the fact that it just looks kind of cool. Okay, do we want to save up and get a banana gun? Get a banana gun. Grab another one of those. Okay, so we could... Get either of those, maybe? Yeah. Do I have enough? I guess I'm gonna try and afford it anyway. Let's see. Have you played Defender's Quest? Yeah, I've got a full series on it. I didn't play the New Game Plus mode, uh, which admittedly I think added more content, but by the end of it, I was I just played so much, so it was like, eh. It didn't uh, appeal. Okay, so I can't afford that. I gotta uh, unlock the ability first to get there. And has Wander played Creeper World? You know what? That's actually one that I haven't played. Uh, and don't have. So why don't we why don't we go fix that? My one problem is I'm actually really hoping to play Creeper World 4. Instead of Creeper World 3. But at the same time, uh, you know what? I don't know how long it's going to take for Creeper World 4 to even come out. So I might as well just pick up uh, Creeper World 3 and try it. Oh, we should sit down and see if there's any other really good tower defense games that I don't know of. Okay, well, anyway, I've picked up Creeper World now, so I can remember to play it. I guess technically I could add it to the, uh... I could add it to the list of... of games to attempt... during this entire process. Alright, well, we're rolling them. Okay, so what's next? Anyway, Dungeon Warfare was a really fun tower defense game. Sort of more physical, where knocking enemies around was a big part of the defense. Is that on Steam? Let's see, do we have another wave? We have another wave. So what's this? Uh, it doesn't actually tell you what e either of those types do yet. Which is unfortunate. The one problem I have with tower defense games is it very quickly does devolve into like, here's your like three tower tower types and here's just the enemies rolling in. I guess I should remember to turn it up to like super speed, but I was a really big fan of element tower defense back in the day because there was this, this feeling of, of experimentation. I think Legion tower defense kind of did the same thing yeah. where you weren't always just, um, uh, you weren't always just Plunking down, you know, your gun towers, your energy towers, your cryo towers. There was like a whole bunch of weird things along the way that made it stand out. I don't know how to describe it, but it was it was fun mix and matching and finding out like, yeah, this this is the this is the right proper build to go with. Okay, Ugh, these are kind of expensive. Gemcraft. Gemcraft's another really good one. Okay, so Soul Reaper. When Soul Reaper kills an enemy, its rate of fire can increase drastically. Does extensive damage and weaken target's armor. And then we've got at least a couple more types of towers that we haven't even unlocked yet. Weapon. Okay, so that's not a weapon. That's a concrete block, but that's that's okay. There's not a whole lot of, like, upgrades here, actually. Okay, anyway, let's do one more round of this, and then I'll probably switch games. 
Let's see, wish you could buy games. I mean, it, eh. Ooh, shell bounces from the first target to the second. Let's do the bouncing shot. And I'm out of, I'm out of money. I wonder if doing things on, let's try survival. Oh, I see. I got to complete the game before I can do survival. Well, there we go. What are the weapon and base tabs? Uh, the weapons are like mines. They're not really that exciting, sadly. All right, so I have some amount of money. And not a lot I can work with. I'm just going to tank that up. And we'll just go. But anyway, uh, I would say don't be too jealous of me because I buy a lot of games, but I don't get to appreciate them nearly as much as I'd like to anymore. I don't know. When you play video games for a living, they do kind of lose all meaning. Like, uh, I, I was reading, reading an article, sort of. Uh, recently about how people younger generations really want to grow up to be youtubers nowadays and there's something inherently like really really scary about that because it's not actually that amazing of a job like it's a decent job but it has a lot of like extra stresses and stuff and boy is it risky you would not believe how many YouTubers have just like totally folded over over the years in my presence. Yeah, it's super hit and miss. Much different from being a TV personality. Sort of, because with a TV personality, you just show up, uh, they put a camera in front of you, you do your thing, and then you leave. And I realize I'm simplifying the process, but oftentimes you've got a team of writers and editors and experts behind you to, to really like make sure everything's going smoothly with a youtuber especially if you're a small one you have to do all of the editing you have to pick the programming you have to make do all the marketing you have to make sure everything's running smoothly you're handling all of your pr you're handling all of your uh community interaction if something goes wrong it's on you and if you can pull it off it's it's super rewarding but it's one of those where uh Probably upgrade this one. This back one here and there. Let's see, how many more waves do Ooh, geez, we got a lot of waves on this one. Should probably upgrade the uh the range on these too. But yeah, I I've known way too many people uh, that get in that get into YouTube thinking, yeah, I'll just put out a couple of videos. It'll do great. I'll get famous, and uh, you know, then then I'll just be living the high life like PewDiePie or whomever, whatever. And like, it almost always is much much more of like a. They start doing YouTube, and then it's like, oh shit, this is a lot of work. I can't keep up with this. Uh, what do I do? And then they get mad and then quit. I get extra gems if I don't spend these golden coins, but I think I gotta spend at least one more. Because we need, we need money. And no health insurance, no retirement, no days off. Yeah. I mean, you can take days off. It's just a matter of like, it does come uh, come at the cost of like, uh, you can't do any work if you take a day off. And then it's like, okay, well I gotta figure out when to move that work around. And I'm not trying to like belly bellyache too much here, I'm just trying to, I'm always trying to be like, be realistic, it's not actually that glamorous. Okay, this seems to be working out. Let's upgrade the ice towers. Ooh, that is a chonky thing when it's closed. Yeah, let's save the rest for extra crystals. 
That's what you fear. If you, uh, you'll start losing the fun in games if you do Twitch. I, th I think you'll still enjoy games. I don't, I don't think that'll ever, they ever stop being fun, but they stop being special. Like, you know, like, you know that, like, joy when you're, especially when you're younger, and maybe this is just, like, a, because I'm an adult or something like that, but when you load up a new game and it is just nothing but, like, wonder and excitement and, holy shit, this is actually becoming a problem. Uh... Okay, was that the last wave? No, we've actually, we've got more than this. Uh... Uh, let's see. But when you load up a game for the first time and it is just this like magic experience and you're like, holy shit, this is like the best. After being a streamer for like 10 years, you're like, oh man, this is a pretty good game. Uh, you know, I like this, it's similar to blah, blah, blah. But there's no like, it's very rare for me to load up a game and being like, you know, holy shit, I love this game, you know. And just get like really wrapped up in it, if that makes sense. Okay, so we should be able to make a whole bunch of crystals off of this. Not that it matters, I think I'm gonna switch after this one. Or do we want to do one more round? I don't know. Well, that's a whole bunch of gems that I can maybe spend on something. Let's do one more. Tower defenses are dangerous. So, range increased by 10%, rate of fire increased by 10%. Do I even want to do that? Rate of fire increased. Armor piercing might not be a bad idea. I do kind of wish I, I knew how much damage these things did just by default. And what's the base tab? It's just gate health, machine gun on the gate, and the, uh, the... Effectively, your your base has two weapons to defend it, and you can upgrade those, but it's it's lame. On that topic, these upgrades are kind of weak. Okay, let's let's do one more and then we'll move on move on. I, I like my tower defenses to either be like really simple and for not formulaic. Rocket keeps stars from being built, so destroy it. Oh. Okay, do I have any gold? The answer is no. So they're going this way. Oh, that's fine. How do I destroy it? Not that I drop landmines. Whoops, did that? Might have actually triggered. I am unsure. Well, maybe if I start, they'll attack it. Okay, there, there they go. I was hoping there would be stuff from the miners. Me too! Okay, so that cost me a landmine, but that's okay. Yeah, I was hoping there'd be more interesting upgrades for these things. I do like the visual design, but the, the towers are very, very simple. Okay, we do need the slowing tower real bad, though. I should have started with the slowing tower first, honestly. I got a couple of spare mines. Oh, dang it. They're going to destroy that block. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was wasteful.
Okay, this game was on Armor Games a long time ago. I do really appreciate that the Flash Market is actually really, uh, really making its way onto Steam and more like archival locations. Kind of in the same vein, uh... I might need to get another ice tower up in here. Because these guys, these guys are just waltzing right past me. Okay. We need, we need more firepower though. That should help a lot. Maybe an AoE tower. The Frost Tower is AoE, but it doesn't actually do that much damage. Okay, that's that's better though. Yeah. Let's turn the speed up. Up these. Yeah, because the energy tower has like a little bit. A little bit of an AoE. that there. This is not proud defense. Get that done real quick. Okay, there we go. It's out of there. Oh, kind of needed that anyway. Turns out it was actually worth quite a lot of money. Okay, there we go. But yeah, kind of on the same topic of armor games and uh, and so on and so forth. A number of uh, a number of games that have actually come out in the last couple months. Oh shoot, I actually have an armor games game that I should have added to the list today. Oh well. Uh, but a number of the games that I've actually been offered in the past couple weeks, months, whatever, have been armor games published. And it, it's nice to see that like the indie market is kind of turning into this like. I'm gonna say more sustainable than it used to be, but that might not be the right term. But it's, uh, it's not... I was eternally afraid that the indie market would slowly, uh, constantly kind of be beholden to the AAA market to, like, publish them or, like, keep them going and so on and so forth. Uh, I, I don't really know how to describe it apart from, like... I, I guess easy example... Uh, what was it? When Bastion came out, it was being published by WB for some reason. And I'm sure it helped them. Like, I'm, sh I'm sure they needed the extra money to, to get it off, off the ground. Uh, but at the time, a lot of people were like, does this count as an indie game? I don't think it should. And, you know, this kind of back and forth over like, what is an indie game? And I personally would would call. I, I would absolutely call, uh, you know, Bastion anything Super Giants ever made an indie game. Sure, it might be published published by a bigger company, but at the same time, it was just definitely built by like a smaller, uh, a smaller team. I would say more inexperienced, but I don't think that's actually true. I wouldn't consider consider Super Giant to be terribly inexperienced. Uh, but at the same time, I was really worried that, you know, more indie games were just going to get, like, soaked up by, by AAA, and it was going to be one of those that, to succeed in the indie space after a certain point, you'd need, like, a AAA publisher to get you through it. That's always a little spooky, just because, like, AAA tends to kind of eat studios alive in not a good way. But it looks like I was quite wrong, and that's that's a good thing. Let's upgrade that, and then that's that's the end of spending my golden points. So you wonder the fact that you stream on Sundays makes me so happy. You're the only one I get to watch on these days. Really? I would have assumed streamers would be more active on the weekends. Honestly, if I were to ever take a day off, it would probably be like Thursday. Thursday just seems like a, a good day to... ...not stream. 
Okay, let's let's just get a goofy amount of extra guns around for no goddamn reason. I really wish I could see the full Oh! So 13 13.2, four shots per second. Oh, you can actually see the levels. Okay, so in general you want to get the, the machine gun tower. Okay, makes sense. Alright, well, let's... Probably just let this go. I'm not actually sure if it was wise to get a bunch of, like, souped up, uh... Or not souped up. Just gun turrets. But I think it's okay. And it's still going! Someday I gotta sit down and do a series on Defense Grid The Awakening. I think it's by far my favorite tower defense game. It was much more calculated. The towers weren't that interesting, but you really had to consider where you were going to put them all. And it also had a really solid plot line that you almost never see in a tower defense game. Okay. A lot of... Indie game companies are surprisingly experienced. Well, in a lot of cases, indie com uh, indie game companies were made out of... Oy, 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 oy. Jimmy, what are they talking about? They say ordinary bullets and shells don't hurt them. Oh. Cool. Well, we finished the first island out of eight. I think that's good enough. This is fun, but I think I'm going to dive into another game. <laughs>